to do, man. Welcome back to another video. It's the Kid Life with Junior out here in the garage, man. As you see, it is no car in the garage, man. I didn't push big girl outside, and we over here working, man. We over here trying to figure out what we need to do right now. I'm trying to get this window out. I might take the fender off so I can replace. Okay, move the camera down. Take the fender off so I can get this door on. Um, and then I put the fender back on because I need to, I'm gonna go on sand that all the way down, sand the whole fender all the way down as y'all can see now, y'all can see a little better. <clears throat> so we gonna work that, that's that fender I worked. We did some stuff right there with the fiberglass right up in here. And you can see how it's a little different. Then we gotta, we gotta work up in here. We gonna. I don't know what that is, so we're going to put a little bit of rust mort right here. Um, we gonna, I don't know if I'm going to rust mort this no more, but we got some spots we need to hit, man. I'm about to go ahead and fiberglass. I got a little couple pin, couple holes right there. We're going to go ahead and fiberglass that, and then we got some stuff right here because it was rotten right here. So I had to replace that. So the people who did the car replaced that, man. They did a shh job. But we're going to do that, man. And then we're going to possibly um, start attacking this rust over here because you can see it's it's rusty. So really mainly surface rust. But, man, I don't want it to be sitting there and then start forming to something else. But it ain't going to sit there that long because, like I said, I got the primer. And we're going to get to working on this, man. We got to work this a little bit more over here because had that little spot right there. So we're going to do some things, man. Uh, going to have to put some Bondo right here. Not going to put a lot, but we're going to put a little bit because that is where the top and the sides is sealed right there. So we'll put a little bit right up in there. But right now, man, I'm going to go ahead and get this window up out of here. <clears throat> then once I get the window out, fender off. And because I can't do... I'm not going to be able to do none of this stuff tomorrow, man. Uh, I had told my partner, well, it ain't that only. I'm probably going to go out with the wife tomorrow, probably hang out with a couple friends. So I'm not going to have time to do none of this tomorrow because I'm going to give all my focus to a couple errands I got to run in the morning. Then going out with her, man, because we haven't been out in a while, even though we just came off a cruise. So it is what it is, man. She want to get out the house. I had already told them. I was taking my wife somewhere Saturday. She wanted to go somewhere today, but she didn't know where to go. She didn't really push the issue. So I said, all right, I'm gonna come out here and get on the call. So that's what it is, man. But I'm about to set the camera up probably on the back of this Altima. Man, I'm gonna put it on time. That's why I get this window out. The next day. I'm out here about to get started on sanding the trunk. So I'm just trying to get my stuff together. Give me a pad. Give me a pad. We got this 80 right here. It's, I don't know what this is. 
Yeah, it's 80 grit. So we about to start getting jiggy with this right here, man. And we're going to do a couple more things on the other side of the car, but we're going to focus on this right now. So what I'm about to do is we're going to get right into it, man. We ain't going to waste no time. We're about to get right into it. So we're going to take this 80 grit, put it on this little pad. y'all we're gonna take this down to the that's the only thing about these these is semi sticky but I need to get some that the pads got a little adhesive on it that's gonna hold this stuff because when I go to sanding, it's the issue I get every time. And it be pissing me off. So I'll be using way more material than I should have to be. I just need to hit this because I had a dent here. Right here is see it's 180 sticky. So I put it on here, I'm able to hold it because of how it is, because it's brown. So and at 180, what it's doing is it's taking down all them edges and high edges and stuff. Right. We in the game. that 180 I mean let the 80 take off most of it and then come back with the 80 knock it down
the gang. That always saying in a V. Try to find me a DA that uh run by the Milwaukee. I seen a couple of cheap ones on there for about 40 for about 60 70 bucks. So that's what we're gonna work on next. I'm trying to get one of them, but right now, what we about to do is we about to get with this area up in here. So I'm gonna get with it. I need to line this door up. Line this door up because it's a little close. And you can see. And you can see it's high. See how uh, this way up here? It's supposed to be right here with this. Look at this one. It's right here. I'm gonna probably fill these holes in too. But we need to adjust this door. So that's what I'm about to do right quick. Need to get that right. This not the final, but we trying to get as much stuff as we can right. So let me figure this out, man. Try to get it right. What up? So I hit this area right here, like we did on the other side, kind of where the roof and the quarter. Keep trying to get where the roof and the quarter meet. We did that on both sides. Um, <sighs> wanted to hit this area, dude, but I'm still up in the air about this. So I guess I'm about to ask and see, get a little, um, get a little guidance on that part, man. So went back here. All oh, this mostly cool. Hit this little spot. And then I'm going to hit this again right here. Put a little bondo there, but we're not going to do that today. What I'm about to do right now is I'm about to adjust this door. Ugh. This sun uh, needs to be adjusted. So I want to go and get that right so it won't be hitting. A, it don't really hit it, but it's very close, so I don't want it to take a chance. And it looks like I'm going to put weld this door a little bit once a... Uh, once I get a welder, no huge rush, but everything takes time. But I'm gonna have to start getting it because I need to go and put this roof in, man. Get that bodywork over with and done. So I ain't got to deal with that no more as well. So, it's, uh, you know, everybody say, hey, do a frame off. But mainly they taking their car somewhere. I'm doing my own car. So that's what makes it a hell of a difference. So. I gotta take off, I think, two more bolts, then I can pull this fender off, man. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's get the bolt. Did I put the bolt in here? Every dang bolt is a different size, too. This is frustrating. 13, everything is 12, I mean, uh, 13, 14, 15. I don't know where I put the ratchet at, so I can't take this off.
tell y'all one thing, man. Don't buy the batteries from Amazon. That they're not, they're Milwaukee's. They work with the Milwaukee's, but they not Milwaukee batteries. Don't buy those. These hoes be upset me. Cause it keep coming off. So I got one more screw. Then I gotta take this fender off. Let me figure out what size it is. your cheek buy ratchets with ratchets with the ratchet deal in there i have them in my truck i need to buy another set for my house this is dead you may be wondering why i'm taking the door the fender off because the way i put the door on the fender was on and you can't get to everything. It's easier just to adjust it with the fender off. So I want to make sure all my body lines line up and everything lining up. That's the only reason I'm doing this because if you tune into an old video, you'll remember me saying I am going to take this stuff back off because I'm going to paint it. Thing I'm not painting the color of the car underneath the hood is the firewall. And if I'd have knew like I knew now, I would have just painted that from the get-go. But I had already painted it black. It's gonna say black. Fenders, inner fenders, the wheel fenders rather, rather, and the fenders, core support. That core support with my behind. And I'm still thinking about repainting the color of the car. Ugh. That's why you want that, that ratchet. All right, give me a second, because nine times 10, it's my wife calling me. And that was spam. So, keep these are spacers. Cause that fender needs to be pushed out a little bit when it's on. Uh, I'm using my other camera, y'all, so excuse the hand motions and everything. Alright, so with the door. the door I mean, with the fender off so you can get to these bolts so I don't know if the the fender bolt is too high or the but when I was sitting here see this bolt this is a hole which is a bolt going to the fender this was too high so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off move it down and then we gonna go from there. So let me try that right quick, man. And uh, let's see what it do. What up, so we got it back home, man. It's not exactly where it need to be because it still got like a little dip. But we almost there, man. He mosquitoes hitting right now though. So we about to take this one in the house. Um, it's just a quick video, man. I ain't really wanna. 
I couldn't really do too much today. I'm going to go and clean up my mess, put these cars back in the garage, man. We're going to shut it down from here. Um, Next video, I should be getting after this area right here. Um, I need to put some rust mort along the the sink, the weld underneath. What do you call it? On, along the rocker panel, I'm going to put uh, rust mort along that. Uh, I need to sand the back down. I'm also going to probably start on this. Putting, uh, now, I'm going to finish the light stuff. Once I finish the light stuff, then I'll start on getting it right, getting everything where it need to be. And then I also need to start assembling the front end. But if I'm going to paint the radiator support, I'm probably not going to do it then. I'm probably not going to assemble it. I just got the radiator sitting on there with some zip ties and what else we need to do. I'm trying to see more body work I need to do. Don't really know about the hood. We gonna DA that all the way down. I can see probably one dent from here. It's probably a dent right here. Uh, like some dirt. But we gonna take this book all the way down to the metal as well. We gonna get that all the way down because we gonna paint the inside and we're going to paint this side. We're going to paint. I'm not double painting stuff. So I'm not about to paint the inside black. Paint the outside the color of the car. So the hood don't look like it's too much wrong with it. It just needs to be sanded down and primer. Like this is it's dirty, first of all. I haven't had this car on the hood. On the, this car on the hood. This hood on the car, this is probably the first thing I took off the car when we start disassembling it. So, this was the first thing. So, uh, I have to look on the inside. I don't want to keep moving because I don't want to mess the corners up, leaning back and forward. So, that's what it is, man. So, the hood will get... I'm probably hit that with the DA, take that all the way down. Hit it with the DA, go get a, uh, I got some 80s. Hit it with the DA, hit it with the 80. Um, all this back here, need to get dealt with because I'm gonna have to tape the bottom part up. I need to take the bumper deals off, but I need to, I'm gonna primer that. And see, I'm trying to get all my stuff that I need for me to start primer and stuff because I ended up buying two paint guns. Look at this, it's so, uh, dusty, but I ended up buying two paint guns. One gonna be for the primer, one gonna be for the, the paint. And so we gonna start boogieing, man. I'm not gonna take the trunk off. I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint primer and paint that while it's on there. Maybe, maybe. I want everything to look right, man. I know it's gonna be my first time. Hopefully I can do it. Hopefully I do it right. Uh, and if I don't, we gonna sand it back down and do it again, man. That's all about learning process. It's my first time. So, hey, as I learn, I get it. So, and then I need to start tackling this sunroof stuff. That's another thing. I would show y'all some stuff, but man, I ain't got my, I bought a light during the storm. It just all of a sudden disappeared. I don't know what happened to it, but, um, yeah, get this sunroof done. But like I said, I want to get all the body work done. So I need to put the rear clip on, make sure it's lining up right. Um, work the body work wise on the car to be easier because then you get then you can um hold on what the camera doing bro i hate when the screen be going off i don't know but then then you can work the body work why it's on here everything gonna be even it's easier to work that body work with everything pretty much on the car so like i say this with what was already done you know what i'm saying don't know why 
I did. But yeah, this was the part that was already done. That's what I did on the other side. I would say body work done on this side. Body work done. I just need to focus at the bottom. I'm gonna go down there. This the only part right here that needs to get, get touched again. Down there. Um, and that's gonna be it, man. So this camera don't really show us. I did put it on night, but it ain't showing as good as that other camera, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off here. Let me go and pick up my stuff, clean it up, get in the house, man, because mosquitoes. Mosquitoes is out here biting right now. <clears throat> so until next time, man. Appreciate everybody for watching, man. Um trying to see what else we can get done, man. I just wanna start making progress. That's the frustrating part about building a car. You feel you don't always feel like you ain't moving fast enough. So there she go, man. 86 Landau Caprice. Framed off. Took it all the way off the frame. Painted the belly myself. Um, painted the frame myself. We gotta get this sunroof though. Cause this skin just feel big, but I just gotta figure out where to, cause I needed the, like right here. And then I need to cut it, shape that, shape that to curve. But we gonna see. Cause these the mountain brackets, so. I don't know. A little confused right now. I wish it would have been a little wider this way, a little shorter this way, but we gonna make it work. Cause I gotta make sure this lip is on top of this, this part of the car. See, and with them cutting this, this shorter than this, that's the problem. You see what I'm saying? Like they should have cut this wider than this. So and then when I cut this, cut the actual roof, then I will cut it. I will measure everything to this and not this. But what it look like I'm gonna have to do is have it hanging over in the front and the rear a lot. Cause they ain't even cut it even. Like look at this one. Then look, look at this shape. What the, the hell y'all was cutting? I ain't even look at the other side, man. That's where stuff gonna get difficult. Especially with me doing this, my it's gonna be my first time. See this side a little better. Nah, no it ain't. <laughs> Cause this side is sticking out extremely far. So, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stick it in and try to like slide it at an angle from the front to the rear to the rear to the front. I don't know. But we're gonna have to figure that out. So, man, I'm out, man. Until next time, I appreciate y'all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, do all them things. I'm trying to find some likes so y'all can see me. Do all them things, man. Until next time, man, I'm out.